Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Now, what we will be doing today is looking at Newton's second law, but we will just modify the sum a little bit. And we're saying that assume that 500 is the applied force and we have friction. Let's pull this object back of 300 Newton and, the, and, and friction of 150 Newtons pulling the 10 kilogram object back. And they're asking us to calculate the tension on the string. And as we said in our last clip, what we have to do is um, isolate the diagrams, draw a diagram, draw separate diagrams for each mass piece. So let's take our 10 kilogram mass piece. And if you look at it I, uh, on its own, what is pulling or pushing onto the 10 kilogram mass piece? It's not the 500. It will just be T. So T is pulling the 10 kilogram mass piece forward. And we see that there is friction of 150 pulling the mass piece backwards. And if you look at the 15 kilogram mass piece, we see that there's a force of 500 newtons applying directly onto the object and T is pulling the object back. But if you look carefully, we'll see that there is also a frictional force of 300 newtons pulling the object backwards to the left. So we have to be very careful that we can have more than one force applied in a specific direction. Now, after we drew isolated mass diagrams for the two, we have to write it in terms of Newton 2, which is F net is equals to MA. F net is equals to MA. And if you look at our net force here, it will be T minus 150 is equals to 10A. And if you look at the second diagram here, we see we can write down 500 minus 300 minus T is equals to MA. That is very important. That in this case is plus 500 minus 300 minus T. That the positive direction is to the right and the negative direction is to the left. And if we take this further, we get 500 minus 300 is equals to 200 minus T is equals to 15A. So here we see we've got two equations. That in equation 1, T minus 150 is equals to 10A. And in equation 2, 200 minus T is equal to 15A. Now, how do we solve the sum? There are different ways of uh, sorting the sums out. So what I will do, I will just do it that I'll take equation 1 and I'll add it to equation 2. So if I take equation 1, it's T minus 150 is equals to 10A. This is not the only way to do it. So your teacher may show you other ways of doing it. Always are acceptable. And if you write on the second one, 200 minus T is equals to 15A. And we are adding the 2. The reason I'm adding the 2 is I want to get rid of T. Another way of doing the sum is we would have made T the subject of the formula and put these things on the other side and then substitute that value for T in equation 2. So that's another way of doing it, but I, I prefer this way. So if we look at T minus T will cancel out. 200 minus 150 will give you 50 is equals to, or uh, actually we're adding it. So it's 200 uh, minus 150 plus 200 is 50. T minus T is 0. 10 plus 15 is equals to 25A. And then you divide both sides by 25. And then we'll see that if we divide both sides by 25, our acceleration becomes 2 meters second squared. And because our acceleration is 2 uh, meters per second squared, we want to work out T. Once we have this, we can substitute A is equal to 2 in either equation 1 or equation 2. So I will substitute it in equation 1. T minus 150 is equals to 10A. So it becomes T 
minus 150 is equals to 10 times 2 is 20 and therefore we can say t is equals to 150 plus 2 which will give us 170 newtons and that will be the tension on the string t that we had originally so looking at this this will be a typical examination type of sum that you can get where we will have to work out the tension on the string we saw here that first we had to make uh, 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 isolate the two diagrams using separate mass pieces and then we had to write them in terms of f net is equals to ma and then we have to use substitution to calculate our answer our acceleration is two and our tension on a string is 170 newtons. So we see that this is not a very difficult sum, but what is important is that we have to follow the procedure, the steps, and in so doing, you will see that doing these Newton sums will not be very difficult. Thank you very much for watching.